Hey everyone, welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars review video. Today I've got probably one of the rarest LEGO Star Wars sets ever made, at least in like the top 30 of rarest LEGO Star Wars sets ever made. It is the Ghost from 2014. And so this set came with, I think, 929 pieces for minifigures and retailed for $90 back when it came out in 2014. So this to me, so you guys probably know that there's the Ahsoka show coming out and we have a new ghost set coming out for it that comes with the Phantom. I unfortunately don't have either of the Phantoms for this set, so I can't do the docking thing. So obviously that Phantom just looks, or that new ghost just looks absolutely incredible. And so I wanted to do this review for this set today before this before the new ghost and even the Ahsoka show comes out to see if it's still to see if even with that new ghost and the like how much value this set has gr gone up uh, over the last almost decade now see if this is still worth buying in 2023 now nine years later so starting off here with the minifigures we got four in the set black haired Kanan is our first one there was the the brown haired one, but I I am fortunate enough to have the black haired one. Very nice figure. This figure this is an extremely expensive figure. Unfortunately, though, the um eyebrows and beard have faded a little bit, so yeah, kind of sucks. But still, really cool and rare figure in my opinion. This or sorry, <laughs> I'm gonna up before I do. Um, review more of the figures, guys. I know my my review videos have been kind of a bit weird these past couple months. Like I've been doing them on, doing them on the floor, or I've been doing them on like angles like this on my desk. I'll explain it in another video, but trust me, probably I'll probably sometime in August I'll try and improve the quality of my video or of my review videos. So this is probably the main like attraction figure to this set, and that is Zeb Orlius Aurelius, I think. Very nice figure. And this figure as well has skyrocketed in value. He's worth like 150 bucks or something now. But a very nice and detailed figure. This is another figure that has skyrocketed in value from the set. Harris and Dula. She probably is going to lose some value though since now we're getting a new Hera figure in the new Ghost set. But I do really like the, the hat piece on this figure it is really good i think that i think they honestly perfected it if i'm being honest and i would honestly say that this is probably a perfect figure a perfect lego star wars figure still even got the other face there this is i would say this is probably the best actually no i'd probably say zeb is the best figure in the set and then probably Hera. the black hair canaan i only really care about just because of how rare it is i don't really care but if it wasn't rare, I would not care about it at all. And finally now, the most basic figure of the set, which no one cares about, the Rebel Stormtrooper. It does have really good printing, though, I will admit. But then the Angry Clone Head. We know these. We've had them for nine years. So, here's the Ghost. And one thing you are going to realize, too, about it is... It, I'm pretty sure it, this is a little bit smaller than... The new one that's coming out but that's a good thing for the new one not really not so much for the old one but it's really good for the new one this review is just pretty much to tell you guys if it's still worth buying this new ghost in 2020 or this old ghost in 2023 nine years later that because this came out in 2014 even when we have a new ghost coming out and this is worth now like almost a thousand dollars in the box actually i think it is so starting off i'll start off with the detail on this set the detail, it's got a lot of stickers on the set, so stickers, they do add a, a lot of detail, especially on the wings, mostly, and even the skate pods there. The thrusters as well look decent, however, I, I do have the wrong piece for that one though, which kind of sucks, but yeah, it's, the uh, docking bay is unfortunately a little bit inaccurate, because like, you can't. Figures can't even fit through the doors. Like if I put like the stormtrooper here, he you can see he the door's just way too small. So 
Actually, as well, you even have some rotating cannons here. Just use some tech or some technique. Um, and even on the top here, this can spin around too. So, I'll start off by showing you all the opening functions on this set. So, or so, we'll start off over here. Actually, yeah, so I'll start off by opening up everything that can open on this set. So, we'll start off down here. So, you can actually take, take down or open down the bottom cockpit, which is like the gunner seat. And you can actually pull it out. So, you, you might think that you can fit two figures on this, but you actually can't because... If we look into it, you see if you put a second figure in there, it's just gonna hit the top of his head, like right there on that seat, on that top seat. So you unfortunately can't do that. However, you can take your Kane and Jairus fig and stick them on like that. Or you can even put any figure on this. I'll probably just... So there you go. So now you can just stick him back in there like so and then you can kind of see him and so next seat obviously is up here this is the driver's seat for the ship and also it's got a really nice sticker on it so you can fold it down like that and you've got the driver's seat which is for Hera Syndulla so we just now Take her and stick her in the seat. You can you can try and get the I kinda got them. You can see like the joysticks. I kinda got them there. And then you can just fold that down and once again you can see her pretty good as well with Kanan. Or see her pretty well. And now you might notice as well the final seat where you can put a minifigure is up here. And you're probably gonna be like, wait, how do you get it? Well, I'm like, I'm not really gonna <laughs> talk too much like that because the set's old. Probably lots of thousands of people have seen people review it. Everyone knows. But yeah, you can basically take it off, and it does look pretty weird. And then just pop it off like that. Just a plain normal seat, right there. But now we can take Zeb. You have to take his weapon off though, and then just. Stick him on the chair right there. So there he is right there. And now uh, you can just stick this on. And you can see him a little bit, however, like it, he kind of looks like he's just peeking out a little bit. Like you can't see him. Like he's visible, but like it, like it's not like his whole head comes through. So yeah. And then you're probably like, wait, can the stormtrooper go somewhere? Yes, he can. Obviously, first, maybe you can just put him on the dock, like, on that, like, that, um, 2x2 two two one stud thing, but, no. There's escape pods on both sides, so, I'll zoom out. There's escape pods on both sides of the ship, just like this. And then, even got another one right here. They both look the same, though, so, you don't have to worry about, like, which one, saying, like, wait, which one? Which one seat should I put them in? Doesn't matter. You can still fit, or you can still fit him in both, and they both, both the them are the exact same. Just stick them on there, and then, um, just, I've always found it hard to put these back in, but once you get it back in, you should be okay. And I just got it back in there once again. It does wiggle a lot, so some... Or is loose on there, so... It's because it's just connected by, like, one Technic rod. Or, Technic pin, so... Yeah. Right there. And so now we'll get to some more of the play features. We'll get into the only... Actually, yeah, so let's get into some, like, other the play features. That isn't just putting characters inside the ship. You can flip this up. And, as you can see, you can fit Kanan's weapons in there. So, you can take his lightsaber, stick it through that, and then his blaster, 
All right, you can take it out for this if you want. I would probably take it out. But yeah, you can just do that. And then put his weapon on that. And so it's pretty easy. Just stick it on right there, shut it. And the other one here can open up too. However, it's not as exciting as, whoops. It's not as exciting though, because as you can see, it's literally just, um, that it's literally just an extra spring loaded shooter which we'll get to in a little bit next up you have to move this one for this but there's a little there's a very small interior space right in front of zeb or the, that, that top gunner seat where like it has a few clips you could try and fit weapons in there but it's probably just not gonna work so i wouldn't try it but like you could still try i guess like try and Probably the best one you could fit in there is just Zeb's weapon. Zeb's would fit in there really well. So then you can just close that up. And now finally, at the back here, it's not really anything, but you can flip this up. And this is basically just, the, you have to flip this up if you want to fit the Phantom in. And then you can open the two little small doors there, but once again, you can't fit a figure through it because it says not mini figure scale. And that's just unfortunately inaccurate, but still great. And then, well, hold on, that piece just somehow fell off. Now, I have to flip this set over, so I'm going to take Zeb out. Because I have to flip the set over for this part, which is not exciting at all. However, though, or actually, no, I don't have to. I can just... So, um, next part here is with this little Technic um, rod here. You can just pull on it, or pull on it, and then this little hatch thing will come out, which reveals a crate, and I don't even think, I've had this set now, I've had this set since it came out back in 2014, and I don't even think I've opened this since, but I haven't opened this since I got the set, so. But as you can see, if we open it, it is Holocron, which they use in a feat, which I don't really know what this is from in Star Wars, but all I remember is it showed up in a whole ton of sets from that era, like the 2013 slash 2014 wave of Lego Star Wars. And once again, you can just try and I'm gonna have to flip it just to stick it back in right there and now so that is that and the final play feature which is probably all of our favorite play feature spring-loaded shooters yes it's got spring-loaded shooters on both sides which you can just flick off which just flick off like that spring-loaded shooters we all know how spring-loaded shooters work they've been here with us for now a decade so that is the ghost. What do you guys think? So, I'm gonna now give you guys my final thoughts on this set. Do I think this is worth buying in 2023, nine years later? Do I think it's worth paying the whatever $950 to $1,000 it costs now in the box? Especially when we have a new one coming out in like just, just under two months. Obviously, the answer for that is no. There is no point of buying this one. The new one, if you haven't seen yet, I'll put a picture of it right here. The new one, it may not have a better minifigure selection. Obviously, I still think it has an amazing figure selection. But I really do think the Hera and the Zeb really just carry this set. Mainly the Zeb. The Hera is still really cool, though. But the ghost, the new ghost that we're getting in September looks a thousand times better than this. This is still an incredible set, though, especially for 2014. 2014 as well, probably one of, was a really good time for LEGO Star Wars, and it's actually my favorite LEGO Star Wars year. I'm actually probably going to make a video on that, saying, like, what are my top 10 LEGO Star Wars years, maybe? But, yeah, especially for 2014, which was almost a decade ago, so some of the stuff from 2014 might start looking a bit dated. But for 2014, this is a fantastic set. And if it wasn't worth $1,000 and they weren't, if it wasn't worth just 
just a thousand dollars and they weren't making a new ghost and yes i would still highly recommend this set even if it was like 700 this 850 dollars but yeah let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments i'm gonna give i used to think this was honestly probably a 10 out of 10 set but now since i see the new ghost i would say maybe because of the new ghost it probably maybe drops it down for me to like a 7 or an 8 out of 10 set i'm probably gonna go i'm gonna go with an 8 out of 10 here because this this still um represents the ghost really well i think so yeah let me know what you guys think of this set thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in another video soon